I thought I'd share some happy mail. Look how pretty it is. Look at that washi tape or tape. That's really pretty. And this is from the lovely Carol with Crinkled Path. And she sent me some happy mail. Thank you, Carol. I already looked through this and it was so interesting. It's she knows I have a couple dollhouses. And this is Queen Mary's dollhouse. And it's look at that. Look at those rooms. It's a very interesting book. I mean, it just doesn't even it looks like a real house. Queen Mary's dollhouse. It's amazing. It tells about the building of it. I mean, look at that. The bedding, the lights. Look at the sewing machine. It's hard to believe that there's the exterior of the house. Can you imagine? It was designed to represent a great mansion in the classical tradition as it developed in England in the 17th and 18th century. Hmm. It's amazing. There's the king's bedroom. Look at the ceiling. The king's bathroom. Green marble, white marble floor. Green marble bath. Wow. Kitchen and scullery. Look at all those tiny things. And look at the little grinder. Unbelievable detail. Thank you so much, Carol. I enjoyed it. And also, she just sent me a sweet little card. And then she's having... Um, the uh, Chris, Christmas in July, or yeah. Um, so I will participate in it, but I'm not hosting. I just got a lot of stuff going on. So, but uh, that should be a lot of fun. And then look at this gardens, a bouquet of thoughts, pop up quote book. I love pop up books. When my grandchildren first. Uh, I had a lot of pop-up books. Aren't they fun? Look at that. How do they do that? It has little bar Bible verses too. Or, no man should plant more garden than his wife can hoe. <laughs> Old saying. Flowers are words which even a babe may understand. Look at the little rabbit. The colors are so pretty. And a little, I have a dye as a, I haven't used it yet, but it has something like this where the, a flower pot. I haven't attempted enough. Uh, I've had enough of gardening. I'm throwing in the travel. Yep. And this has some little birds. So thank you for cheering me up. Carol, you're so sweet and thoughtful. I will put a link to her channel. Um, and check her out. You probably already know her. Um, a Crinkled Path. And I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. And thanks for everyone who's been praying uh, for our family and my son, Nathan. And um, I appreciate it. Hi, it's me, Pam Bendy. And I finished a glue book. And I thought I'd share it with you. And it will be listed in my... Etsy, Pam Vinny. And um, yeah, I'm so busy. I don't even know what I'm doing. Lots of stuff going on. Trying to declutter, trying to redo my craft room, bring in things that are in other places in the house to fit in this room, and just, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But I do have to craft because, you know, that's our therapy. That's my therapy, anyway. So, 
I feel like there's kind of chaos all over, but this is calming. So I made this glue book. It's a large one. And you will have room to grow. And it's very large. It's a, it's a 12, yeah, 12 by 9. And I used a nursery um, book. Look at the cute frog and the, what is that, a mouse and the cat. And it said nursery rhymes here. And I added that paper doily. Really turned out cute. This is my new favorite journal type to make. And then I have this pretty quilted um, piece on the back. It's five, let's see, four, I think. Yeah, four inches with a, three signatures. And then wraps around here. And that tells about the uh, book. And it looks like there's a little... I mean, these books aren't new, so there's a little tear here. I'll just glue that. Okay, I'll work on that. Okay, let's uh, go into it. Yeah, so you'll have a lot of room to grow, and it can. this can be anything you want. You can journal and then add... You know, the papers that you journal on in here, you can collage, you can glue your favorite things, happy things. Sometimes I'll do travel. Um, you know, where places I've gone. And it has like these cute little mice and they're playing. Um, there's some mice here too. A little tug of war here. Um, and I have this really pretty fabric. That went really good with the cover. And it says, To Catherine with love, Catherine. And it was May 6th of 85. I just left that. And if you want to collage over it, you can. And there's the fabric. Um, this is a um, like texture wallpaper. And I left it so if you wanted to glue it down, you could make a pocket. I did add some paper here. Um, or you could glue it down and put stuff in. And then here, it's a paper bag, so you can put things in. And so this is a lot of fun. So you can open that up, and then I just left some paper doilies in there. So I tried not to, I'll add this paper too. I tried not to add, you know, I mean, I left you some things to work with, but, you know, I'm sure you have your own things you want to put in here, too. There's like an apple crumble, and you can collage on it. You can, like I said, write papers and then add it here. Cute little children's book. I added a postcard that you could tuck something here. Maybe I'll add it. I think I'll add a few things here. Some more papers. Here's some lined paper, so you can have a lot of room to collage. This is a like a vintage magazine or an older magazine, and a lot of the pages I um, had to piece together, so I went through and and pieced them all, you know, because they they would be like a for example, a page that was torn out. So then I would have to take it and then, you know, glue all the pages together. So that's what I did with most of them. Here's some cardstock, and I added a flash card. And uh, from this is from a garden book, thicker, and you could add paper on the back or do what you wanted. And. Then what I did was, you can tuck something in here. I'm looking around to see if I have anything. And then you can unclip this. 
And this is a tuck here. So you can add things there. You could add things here. You could tuck something in here. So I thought that was kind of fun. And the white wood scrapbook paper from a older garden book. Just added some scraps just to give you an idea of some things that you could do. Um, here, this um, older paper, I don't know what you call it, used to put through a um, like a computer. And then here I have a little scrap that I made in a little from a cross stitch book some guest checks this is um an esaps for children and it's a nice thicker paper there's a little story there um here's some thicker cardstock and i added this here and then this is some pretty colorful paper i added that from a vintage children's book. This is from a Richard Scarry. So look how much fun you can have. And here's an envelope. You can open it up, put things in here. I opened this up. Just added a little cluster of paper I made in some doilies. So scrapbook paper. And so you can collage on this, decorate it. Another children's book. It's pretty paper here. I added a paper bag. You can see the little bird here. And that's a sticker, so I added some stickers. So I just did some things just to give you an idea what you could do. But mainly it's for you too. Um, decorate or use as you'd like. A little sticker there. Vintage children's book. Plant book. Added this to the edge. Um, that's from the other side. Just added a little paper scrap and a little card that I have made. Journal card. This um, coloring book page that I added to this side. And then I covered it with the, this old Aesop's tail, the frogs and the axe. And then this is a tuck here. So you could add something. I could put this in here. Something to work with. And then on this card stock, I added a little flower. Opens up so you could journal or collage in here. And it's a tuck. Small tuck. And I'll add oh, this pretty bird in this paper here. Why not? Okay. And then on this side, I added a paper cluster. This is pretty paper from my garden book so I, I i like the eclectic so it's very eclectic and then i pieced you know like i said piece things together uh this it's a little paper bag that i clipped on so you could put it wherever you wanted to and here's this other thicker garden or children's page I think it was about seasons if you didn't want it to say Easter you could cover that up raspberry blossom dessert that sounds good and here's a little thicker um, um, recipe card this I piece this together do whatever you wanted there and just added a, a little I had a leftover little sewn across little triangles. And here is a wallpaper. I'm just going to leave it for you to, I mean, if you wanted to do something here, and if you wanted to glue it down and use it as a tuck, you could. 
And then here, so it's three signatures. That's the first one. And everything does still lay down pretty flat. Then we have this. And what you could do, what I could do is I could add this here. Maybe I'll just clip it on in. That's what you want to do. Or you could add it someplace else, that little paper cluster. And pretty cardstock or scrap of paper there. And this was a large stitch and sew envelope. Add things in there. And a little sticker, some pretty thicker scrap of paper. And here we have a little, this was an older um, children's book about animals. It's a zebra. And so I added this little, this black and white cardstock. I thought it was kind of pretty. Added a cluster, added a um, recipe card on this side. And it's also, yeah, it's a tuck here. So maybe I should put something in there. So you realize it's a tuck. That one's kind of thick. Maybe I'll add some guest checks. So you could alter those. Then we have this. Add a little sticker. This is like an encyclopedia. Added um, a little collage piece that I made. There's some stitching. Added a butterfly here and here. And then added some pretty washi tape. And then this was a vintage um, Moon Over Miami music sheet. Lots of interesting pages. Children's book page, added a little paper there, a few little things to alter or write on. I'll add that little paper too. Scrapbook paper. And added this little paper, and then you could do what you want with this. Make it into tags, make it into a booklet. And this is from a embroidery book. And then this was one of those vintage animal books. And then I added this little embroidery tuck, a little receipt and a little tag that you could alter. And I'm going to add... A little paper doily, and let's see, maybe I'll add a couple of these little coin envelopes so you could do something with those. And here's a vintage pattern. This um, little pretty scrapbook paper, I added this card. That opens up this way. You can make that a tuck, a belly band. I'll let you decide. And here is um, scrapbook paper, and I made it as a pocket. Then we have some more it's like stationary paper. On this side, I have this vintage um it's from a directory, letter F, and then there's a little apple here. And this is really nice paper. It's really thick, and it's from a, um, a book that tells you how to paint. Some beautiful, they look like apple blossoms. I've got some melons here. And this is the middle of the second signature. And I have a few things in here, like stickers, this handmade paper you could tear up in a card. I mean, you could put that on there. Whatever you'd like. So I think this would be fun. And 
and let's see, add a little sticker of that bird. Here I added a vellum envelope, added this here, this little coin envelope and uh, cardstock paper. You could do whatever you want it with. And another, um, or is this the other side? This is the other side of that station or scrapbook or pattern. <laughs> And we have this little piece here. Maybe I'll add an envelope too. Put that in there and then added this little tag here. A little a paper here, a little scrap here, and you could stamp or whatever there. Add a date. Here's some more embroidery. It's pretty with the green and this paper here. Uh, this I added on from a children's book. So this side, so you could add um, trim here, washi, and then it's got some little poems here. It's from a children's book, really cute, vintage. Added this little cluster, not cute. This is a vintage uh, moon over Miami, that other side. I added a little tab there that you can collage all over wherever you wanted to. Uh, this is pretty scrapbook paper. And then I added a little envelope here. And you can use the clasp to close it if you wanted to. Good collage here. Vintage little that animal book. And then here I just added some paper. That you could tear up a little pattern on the scrapbook paper I added a um, envelope and on this side this was a thicker piece I think this was a digital but you can put it wherever you want so I just left it there so that you can choose to put it where you want I hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful out. I'm going to go outside. It's uh, sunny and just gorgeous. Okay, here I pieced together some pattern paper. Added this little piece here. I hope you're able to see this. but Okay, I've got an avalanche around me. Uh -huh. Then on this side, you see where I added that, and then here, so you could do whatever you wanted here, and here's some pretty stationary garden book from a vintage Aesop book, and I added a little paper here. Now this is a tuck, added some scrapbook paper, a recipe. Got a trim or paper cut off. Children's book. I'll just go through it. Oh, and here is like, I like whimsical things. And so on here, I just had a little sticker and I put a little fairy that's sitting on top of there. So you can add stickers. Okay, I have a couple little things here. I really like this. Like vintage look. Added that here. You could make tabs, tags, and butterfly. This is a map. Just have a few things in here. Pocket. And then this opens up like that. And I think it's was yeah, it's Wisconsin. Opens up. Isn't that so fun? I love it. And then I have clipped on here this little note card. Then this paper opens up. And then you have this. You can do what you wanted with it.
made this a tuck. I started this. You could, you know, continue working with that. I just thought it was pretty here. Stationary. Just some embossing. Butterfly. A vintage Rhapsody in Blue. So I'm going to cut off here. And then this opens up. It was a large sewing pattern. I just added some paper. So just to give you ideas of what you could do. A few things. But I love eclectic. Or whimsical. Added that page there. A little doily and a dyed index card. And then this is the center. So this opens up here. That opens up there. And then this opens up. Added a... little fox that you could color and bunny and this little paper sack which has some paper in it so this will keep you busy for a long time so you can um, put all kinds of stuff in here flower page children's book page vintage music even has a little kind of staining there and this added some papers and this is a tuck then this opens up like that and here's an envelope We have another the Richard Skyry book page. Here's the other side of the map. And here is a tuck too. I could glue this down. So there you have a pocket. And a butterfly page. I added this. This was a, um, let me do glue this on. This was a, a digital Elsie Bell's bookshelf. I think that's what it's called now, or maybe it's something else. Thicker. And I added paper here. Just added that cute little children's, vintage children's book page. Another little cutoff. Coloring book page, children's book page, which I added different papers and a little tiny dictionary page. Song of Summer. And there's a recipe, and then I added some corrugated uh, cardboard, little snippets, and made in a file folder. And I added this little snippet some pretty note paper and just a little tiny envelope and it has just different stickers and tabs and then here I added uh, that, and then you can do what you want. I, you know, whatever you want. If you wanted to glue it there or use it as a bookmark, how cute this vintage little storybook is. And then I added a little fairy here. Isn't that funny? And a plant book, and then this is a pocket. Lily of the Valley. We have a lot of Lily of the Valley here. Well, around Mother's Day, it blooms. And I thought, this is pretty. Look how pretty these hydrangeas are with the 
with the uh, book right there so that it'll you have room to grow and um, I may do a closure I'm not sure like something but um, yeah I think it turned out really pretty so if you're interested in it I will have this listed in my Etsy and you'll have a lot of fun just collaging or doing all kinds of stuff in here I mean this could last a good year or more just to decorate all right well thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you next time bye bye